Hello, good day viewers. Still on cycle theorem, we have theorem number two, which stated that the diameter of a cycle subtends an angle of 90 degrees to any part of the circumference. And that is exactly what we are going to prove in this tutorial. All right, let me explain this. Suppose we have a cycle like this, and it happens that this is our diameter. You know, the diameter divides the cycle into two equal halves, right? So this theorem stated that this diameter sustains an angle of 90 degrees to any part of the circumference. So if we should connect end points of our diameter to the circumference, something like this, also something like this, this angle right here is going to be a right angle, which is 90 degrees. And it can be anywhere. You can draw it anywhere. So far, it is from the end points of our diameter to the circumference. This is another 90 degrees. It can be like this. Like this. So far, the angle is subtended from the diameter. This must always be a right angle. I would like to use this one. So from the center of the cycle, this is our center. I would like to connect this point to this point. Let me even call it A. Let's call this place B. And this is our C. Remember that this is a radius, right? This is another radius. Likewise, this is radius from the center. Therefore, these two triangles are all an isosceles triangles. And the base angles of isosceles triangle are always the same. So if we should call this one A, this must be A as well. And if this is B, this must be B. So this is exactly the angle we are talking about. This must be 90 degrees. You want to show that A plus B is equal to 90 degrees. All right. Another thing you should remember is that the sum of all the interior angles of a triangle equals what? 180. So now let us add this, 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 and this together. Equate the result to 180 degrees. So we have A plus A, which is 2A, plus B plus B, which is 2B. This must be equal to 180 degrees. And if you divide every single term by 2, we have A plus B equals 90 degrees. As simple as that. You can see that A plus B must be 90 degrees. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.